100 nationals have joined the ranks of 4,000 state college graduates who are already contributing to the nation's social and economic development. On Friday, these students took the much-anticipated walk down the aisle to receive their associate degrees and certificates from the Dominica State College. Friday's ceremony was the institution's second spring commencement ceremony. This year, the college has realized a notable 50% increase in spring graduates from its first ceremony. The Honorable Minister for Education, Peter Seja, used the opportunity to reiterate government's continued support to youth development and education. He highlighted the known fact that his administration has spared no effort to ensure the success of the state college. Honorable Seja noted that this is because government recognizes that a sound education must be the foundation of a successful life. As Minister for Education, I am happy to note that the focus on quality teaching and learning at this tertiary level institution reflects my ministry's emphasis on the absolute necessity for effective teaching and learning at our schools. This is clearly reflected in the policy that all lecturers must possess at least a master's degree, a move we hope will provide our students with the highest quality of instruction. President of the Dominica State College, Dr. Donald Peters, inspired the outgoing students to think global. He challenged them to use their education to change the world. Let us take some lessons from the president of Columbia University in New York, Dr. Lee Bollinger who told his graduates last year, and I quote, your world is a wondrous world. Basically, as far as I can tell, you will live everywhere in the future, know everything, and talk to everyone. Your world will be bigger, will be the biggest ever invented, and yet the smallest. And like it or not, your fates will be more intertwined with those of all humanity than ever before, for good or for ill, depending on how you handle it. Other speakers were Chairman of the Board of Directors, Brian Mead, and former graduate and Island Scholar, keynote speaker, Steffi Pascal. Pascal encouraged the new graduates to be adaptable, motivated, strong, and brave. She also left with the graduates one short but meaningful quote. Remember these words from Albert Einstein. A ship is always safe at shore, but that's not what ships were built for. The DSC students and well-wishers were also treated to a short interlude by graduating siblings Rhea and Jamal Lloyd, as well as members of the Dominica State College Glee Club. GIS News caught up with two of the graduates after the ceremony to discuss their college experience. We first spoke with popular Calypsonian and economics major at the DSC, Jamal Lloyd. My experience may have been challenging, but at the college, the lecturers always make it available make them, themselves available to you so that you, you can, your job can be easier up here. So I think it's been a great experience and I think if I could do it again, I would. Shanda Carbon, a full-time teacher and student, graduated with honors in secondary education. I would recommend the Dominica State College. At, during my tenure at the Dominica State College, I had a great time with my lecturers. We had a very good relationship. So I think that is something that most of the students experienced, if not all of them, and I was a beneficiary of that kind of relationship. The awards for top achievers graduating this spring went to Kalila Dura, Dorisa Pascal, and Shanda Carbon, while Deshaun De Quan George captured Sports Personality of the Year. For GIS News, I'm Tasi Flosak reporting.